Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about example problem on having code in digital electronics course, computer networks course and computer organization and architecture course. It is one of the most important concept. The given problem is a sender sends a message that contains the bits 11001 to the receiver. At the receiver, the message can be received as 11001101. Find out the error position and uh, correct that error position using Hamming code. This is the given problem. How to solve this given problem that can be discussed here. First, the given message can be denoted by capital M. It contains the bit 11001. How many number of bits in the given message? So, there are 5 bits in the given message. Next, for the given message, we have to add some number of parity bits to the given message. The message bits and the parity bits, we, whatever the resultant message we are getting, that resultant message can be received at the receiver. Okay. How many number of parity bits that can be added to the given message M can be calculated by using a formula. That formula is 2 power P greater than or equal to m plus p plus 1. Where p is nothing but number of parity bits, m is nothing but number of message bits. We know the m value, m value is nothing but 5. So 2 power p greater than or equal to m value 5. We have to substitute the m value in this formula. So 5 plus p plus 1. Now, we have to apply the trial and error method for which value of p this equation becomes true. We have to find out. For example, I am taking p value can be taken as 3. So, 2 power 3 greater than or equal to 5 plus 3 plus 1. So, 2 power 3 is 8, 8 greater than or equal to 5 plus 3 plus 1, that is 9. So, this is false. Next, next I am taking uh, p value can be taken as 4. So, now 2 power 4 greater than or equal to 5 plus 4 plus 1. M value 5, p value 4. So, 2 power 4 is nothing but 16. 16 greater than or equal to 5 plus 4 plus 1, that is 10. 16 greater than or equal to 10, that is true. So, therefore, we can say that p value is equal to 4. At p value is equal to 4, this condition becomes true. So, therefore, number of Parity bits that can be denoted by P is equal to 4. Okay. Now, we have to find out the total number of bits. Total number of bits. Total number of bits is nothing but number of message bits plus Number of parity bits. Uh, number of message bits is nothing but 5. Number of parity bits is nothing but 4. 5 plus 4 that is equal to 9. Total number of bits is nothing but we have to add message bits and parity bits. Message bits is 5 and parity bits is 4. 5 plus 4 that is equal to 9. So, total number of bits is nothing but 9. Here we have to write the bits from 
right to left so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so parity bits are located at two powers position only so here i am mentioning parity bits so parity bits are located at two powers positions 2 power 0 is nothing but 1 next 2 power 1 is nothing but 1 next one 2 power 2 is nothing but 4 next one 2 power 3 is nothing but 8 so parity bits are always located at two powers positions so this can be treated as p1 this can be denoted as p2 this can be donated as p4 this can be denoted as p8 once the parity bits are located at the two powers positions at the remaining places we have to write the message bits so here we have to write message bits how many number of message bits are there five message bits are there five message bits can be written what are the vacant places are there after identifying the parity bits okay so here we have to write either from uh, right to left or left to right so here 1101 one, one. i am writing from msb to lsb first i am taking msb here one next i am taking another next bit after msb one next one zero next one zero next one one in this way we have to write it so one zero zero one one so here the, this is parity bit p8 here the parity bit p4 here the parity bit p2 here the parity bit p1 okay so this is the given message 11001 this is the given message for the given message we have to add four parity bits that is p8 p4 p2 p1 so total message is total number of bits in the given message is nothing but m plus p that is message bits plus parity bits total message bits are 5 bits and parity bits are 4 bits so total is 9 bits next we have to calculate the parity bit positions okay what is the value of p1 what is the value of p2 what is the value of p4 what is the value of p8 okay so for that purpose how to calculate the parity bits for calculating the parity bits first we have to write the binary numbers for the given bits 9 bits okay so here i am writing one decimal number one decimal number two decimal number three decimal number four decimal number five decimal number six decimal number seven decimal number eight decimal number nine every decimal number represents the bit positions that bit positions can be written in the form of four bits because total four parity bits are there so that every bit position can be represented in the form of four bits in binary so here 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 this is the binary equivalent 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 okay for calculating the p 
P1 value. For calculating the P1 value, we have to consider this column only. We have to consider this column only for calculating the P1 value. Okay. In this column, at which position 1 is there, that bit position can be considered. Okay. Here, we have to calculate the P1 value. At that time, the bit value 1 at 1 position cannot be considered. Only the remaining positions can be considered. Because we have to calculate the P1 at that time, at bit position 1, 1 is there, that cannot be considered. Okay. Next, 1 is there, that is there at third position. Third position, exclusive R. Next, fifth position, exclusive R. Next, seventh position, exclusive R. Next one, ninth position. Okay, here, this one, this one, this one, this one. So, here one is there at third position. Here one is there at fifth position. Here one is there at seventh position. Here one is there at ninth position. Okay, next. At third position, whatever the message bit is there, so that is one. This one can be considered. Next. At the fifth position, what is the message bit value? Zero. Next. At the seventh position, what is the message value? One. Next. At the ninth position, what is the message bit value? One. Okay. Now, one exclusive or zero is nothing but one. One exclusive or one is nothing but zero. Zero exclusive or one is nothing but 1. Okay? 1 exclusive or 1 is nothing but 0. 0 exclusive or 0 is nothing but 0. 0 exclusive or 1 is nothing but 1. So, P1 value is equal to 1. Next. Next, we have to calculate the P2 value. For calculating the P2 value, we have to consider this column. In this column, only ones are considered. At that time, first one is there at the second position. We have to calculate the P2 value. So, this one cannot be considered. Okay. Next one is there at third position. Next one is there at sixth position. Next one is there at seventh position. So, three ones. This one is there at third position. This one is there at sixth position. This one is there at seventh position. What is the message bit value at third position? One. Exclusive R. What is the message bit value at sixth position? Zero. What is the message bit value at seventh position? That is one. So, one exclusive R zero. That is nothing but one. One exclusive R one. That is nothing but zero. So, therefore, P2 value is equal to 0. Next. Next, we have to calculate the P4, parity bit 4 value. For calculating the parity bit P4, we have to consider this column. In this column, we, we have to consider the ones. First one is there at fourth position. We have to calculate the P4 so that we do not consider the one at fourth position. Next one, one is there at fifth position. One is there at uh, sixth position. One is there at seventh position. Next, at fifth position, what is the message bit value? Zero. Exclusive R. At the 6th position, what is the message bit value? 0. At the 7th position, what is the message bit value? 1. So, 0 exclusive R, 0. 0. 
zero exclusive R one is nothing but one. So P four is equal to one. Next, next we have to calculate the P eight. For calculating the P eight parity bit value, we have to consider the last column, but any one is there at eighth position that cannot be considered because we have to calculate the p8 value next one is there at ninth position so only single one is there so that p8 value can be taken as directly as one because only single one is there okay so p8 is equal to is nothing but ninth position at ninth position what is the message bit value that is one so therefore p8 value is equal to 1 so we have to calculate the p1 value that is 1 we have to calculate the p2 value that is 0 we have to calculate the p4 value that is 1 we have to calculate the p8 value that is 1 so therefore calculated calculated received message calculated received message that is nothing but whatever the parity bit value that can be calculated including the message bit value so what is the message we are getting first one ninth bit value is 1 next one p8 value is 1 next 1 next 0 next 0 what is p4 value p4 value is 1 Next to one, what is P two value? P two value is zero. What is P one value? P one value is one. So this is the message that we are calculated at the receiver. But the received message at the receiver is given in the problem. This is the received message at the receiver. The received message is one one zero zero zero. One one zero one. Okay, so here the received message that can be calculated according to the procedure is this one. The received message at the receiver in the given problem as at uh, this one. Now, for finding out the error position, we have to compare the received message at the receiver in the given problem with the calculated received message at the receiver so bit by bit comparison can be taken here one here one both are same here zero here zero both are same here one here one both are same here one here one both are same here zero here zero both are same here zero here zero both are same here one here zero both are different next one Here one, here one, both are same. Here one, here one, both are same. Only error position, error position occurred. Error position occurred at which position? We have to calculate it from from LSB position. Count the position from LSB to MSB. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At the seventh position, we are getting the error. Error position occurred at seventh position. Okay. To correct that message, whatever the message bit value at the seventh position that is received at the receiver, that can be changed to zero is changed to one. Therefore. therefore after correcting the received message after correcting the received message is 11100111 so at seventh position we are getting the error after correcting the error at the seventh position whatever the bit value is there that bit value zero can be changed to one After correcting, what is the message we are getting? One 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 
zero zero one one zero one. So in this way, we have to uh, solve the given problem using Hamming code. Hamming code is both error detection and the correction technique. By using the error detection, we have to identify in the error position at the seventh position. To correct that error position, whatever the bit value that is present at the seventh position, that can be changed. At seventh position, zero bit value is there. That can be changed as one. That is called as error correction. After correcting, the received message at the receiver is one 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 zero zero one one zero one. So in this way, we have to solve this problem. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you feel any doubts in this problem, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divvela Srinivasara. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Please share this channel to your friends and classmates. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.